Hello guys, what's up? Ben here. Welcome back to another World of Tanks PlayStation 4 video. So today we're doing a little bit of post-battle commentary for a change. We had a lot of live comms recently for the PlayStation series anyway, which has been quite nice and fun. But uh, every now and again it's good to just grind out some games on my own when I'm not recording. It's a bit less distracting when you're doing a live commentary. It's a bit like when I'm streaming. It's kind of a, be a little bit distracting. So I probably have my better games when I am not doing that. Not always, not always, but sometimes. But here's a bit of an example of that. So we're on Abbey, we're top tier, and we are in my very recently unlocked VK36H. If you've been following the series, been grinding up the whole line up towards the E100. We've just unlocked this. I did a little video of me using the stock gun, the derp gun from the previous tank, which um, which is a little bit, I mean, I, I, even with that crappy gun, really enjoyed this tank. Um, I, really nice armor. Here we go, we've got a nice easy shot on a uh, tier four here, the T28. And this is actually firing not the, the first gun, as you'll notice, because it's obviously not a derp gun. I think it's the, the second gun up, so it's the the 75 mil, but not the not the one before the last gun. If you know what I mean? I think it's the tier six 75 mil gun. So pretty good, pretty good rate of fire. There's another upgrade from that, the next gun, which gets a bit more pen, and then the top gun, the 88 mil, actually loses pen quite a lot of pen and gains a bit of damage. And general consensus from people seems to be that the second to top gun is probably the one worth using. I think I'm going to follow that advice because looking at the numbers. That certainly appears to be the case. But you can see we're already bouncing quite a few nice shots. We managed to track the Lee in place um, behind this rock so he can't even get his fairly decent gun pointed at me and do anything. And we're just pinging shots left and right. That one, um, not sure, but it's server lag or something. Seemed to go straight through his turret. There you go. Nice easy shot into the M7. He's charging on, thinks that they can push on me. Repair the ammo rack. Plant one more shot on him. And I love doing that maneuver. <laughs> Make the enemy drive into you to kill themselves. Always works treat. There we go. Take out the M3 Lee as well. That is kill number three already. Nine damaging shots. Realise I'm getting uh, tracked from over the side there by this light tank, this leopard. Side to side to put a shot in him. It would have been nice to go for a tracking shot. Probably would have been a little bit more sensible. Might have been able to get the kill on him as well. But um, it scares him off and gets him out of my face. So I can focus on the task at hand. Just move in, finish off with DK. There we go, and he's down. So we're on four kills and quite a nice amount of damage already. Although pretty even team, we're exactly even so far. Now I like this tank. I, I never really heard much too much about it, but I've really, really liked it. I find the armor is very, very capable for a spear. There we go, nice shot on the KV220. I'm more used to driving the American heavies. I've never really done this line before. So I'm used to driving ones that have a kind of weak frontal hull or lower hull, certainly. So you can't really sit front on an angle and then just kind of hope to hope to uh, bounce too many shots whereas this it's like a bit like a tiger really a tiger 2 you can um, you can do that and get away with it yeah, just have a bit of a fail moment I mean, I've been chipping away at this guy quite nicely he managed to take away damage pretty reliably track him in place which is my intention and then pretty sure I'm shooting in the same places over and over where I was previously penning and just nothing happening I can't because of all this bush I can't really tell I think maybe I'm hitting some dirt on the left there, or maybe they were missing, or I was just getting very unlucky with bounces. I think that one there bounced. Um, and eventually I just give up and fire a premium shell into the side of him, because I have no idea what's going on there. But we get him out of the game for kill number five. But we're down to four tanks versus one, two, three, four, five, six tanks now, so it's not looking too great. I've got quite a bit of health. I lost a bit too much to that guy, more than I would have liked to. I should have got him out of the game quicker and could have still been pretty much on full health. But um, but it's not been too bad. So I decided to pull back here. I could push onto their flag. I know they've got one or two guys there, but I decided to pull back here. So you get some pretty nice shots down across the, the plane from up here. And I see those two there. I think they're going to make a move across the field. I want to get up defend the flag. Most people's instincts seem to be go for the flag. Um, certainly on PS4 it seems to be a little bit more of that mentality maybe than on Xbox. The player's still a bit newer, a bit more uh, flag happy. But um, so I go up here, I think I'll get some nice side shots and, and we'll see what we can do. 
Yeah, I've really been enjoying this tank. Even with the Derp Gun, I was having good rounds. I was bouncing a lot of damage with it, just angling it a little bit, side scraping with it. It was very, very capable tank. I find it's fairly maneuverable. It's nicely too slow, and I don't... I think I get another... I think I've got all the track and engine upgrades now on it, but I get another another turret upgrade with the next gun. So nice, nice tracking shot on the SU-85. But unfortunately, for a repair kit, and he's able to just get repaired. If he didn't have that repair kit, that would have been... Good night, Vienna, for him. There's the KV-1. He's on I think, four or five kills. He's had a pretty good game. So we want to get rid of him. Doesn't look like anyone's done much damage to him so far. So we are going to help relieve him of some of his hit points. And even with this gun, though, there's two more guns to unlock in this tank off this. But we're still going through this pretty... I know it's a tear down from us, but it's a... Um, it's a very heavily frontally armoured tank for its tier. So I'm um, pretty pleased to just go very reliably through front of that KV-1. I managed to spin myself around and get angled back towards this guy. That one doesn't do much damage. Don't have to worry too much. And get a nice shot into the SU-85. So we've got it to three on three. There we go. Get another kill. That is kill number seven. And there are two enemy tanks left. Now one of them was at their flag previously and they're in a platoon so at the moment I'm kind of assuming that they're both going to be base camping. But there we go, one of them gets spotted as soon as I drive away. And we're also on, when you're on 22 damage ribbons and 7 kills this stage in the battle, you've got to be thinking Radley Walters medal, which I don't have any of yet on PlayStation 4. Go for the shot on the Stug, bounce that one. I think he's got the corpse of his friend in front of him as well here. Managed to line that one up, tracks him somehow, <laughs> must have dropped very low. Fire another shot and there we go, kill number 8 for my very first Radley Waters medal on PlayStation 4, very very pleased with that, Radley Waters is for 8 or 9 kills in a game, I think in tier 5 or above it has to be, to stop you just seal clubbing for it, and there we go, the other guy killed as well. So very chuffed with that, I think that's within my first 100 games I've played on PlayStation 4 as well, obviously I've played 8,000 games all over on Xbox, and uh, god knows how many in training rooms and stuff, so um... I played the game a lot, but it's very nice to get one early on on PlayStation on the tier the tanks that I'm grinding. Very, very chuffed with that. Um, you can see I've got a ridiculous amount of silver there. That's because I got the, the special Star Wars op unlocked, which was a 150k bonus. So um, that's a little bit warped. So it's more like 76, really, once you take that out. And a few different ops for my XP. And that was my daily double for the day. So I got for them some nice ops and uh, some double XP for my win bonus. I got 6,500. Uh, XP, 226,000 silver. We also got the Radley Waters, we got the High Caliber. I think there was a steel wall in there, and all the rest of the good stuff. Nearly 2,000 base XP. Very, very happy with that. Always nice. And 2,000 blocked as well, which considering I only had, what, 800 hit points or so, I'm pretty pleased to, um, to bounce sort of more than double my amount of hit points. But there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, feel free to hit that like button down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We really appreciate that. It does uh, help us out and makes us smile and stroke our beards in a, uh, in a joyous manner. Anyway, well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> My name's Ben. We are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.